Hello everyone, this is MS Gill, and today I'm going to teach you how to put 256 colors, or 32-bit color, into Windows 98, 95, or ME. Now, first, I have included a download link to this file in the description. It is a virtual floppy disk file with the drivers on it, and so you want to download that first. And, uh, so we're going to start out with Windows 95, and, uh, I, uh, I came across this driver, can't remember how long ago, but I found out that it worked on multiple devices, so um, it took a while to find. So I figured I'd just share it with all you, because I know the frustration of uh, not having full color on these virtual machines. Um, however, these do not work, oops, these do not work on, uh, on Windows 2000 or any of the NT series. And so, um, this is only 9x, so it's kind of limited, but uh, it works for this. Um, if anybody knows how to uh, um, create full color in uh, NT 4.0, 5.0, or, or which was a beta, or Windows 2000, I'd love to hear about it, because I have been searching all over the place, and I haven't been able to find anything about it. Um, so that would be much, much, uh, help to me. So here we are getting into Windows 95 here. And, uh, should have the login box any second now. There we go. Should hear that sound any second now, too. Any second. <laughs> Interesting. That was a little bit jumbled up. I don't know if you were able to hear it, but uh, so I have um, the floppy disk. Uh, I, I had it plugged into here, so you want to insert it to your virtual floppy drive, and uh, then you would want to go to uh, my computer, and then virtual or three and a half inch floppy A, and then you want to copy. Uh, the folder that's in there um, to this, uh, to your desktop, or pretty much anywhere on the C drive where it's accessible. And uh, it should just look like this. It should have that name, VBE9X. And uh, so you want to go to Properties, go to Settings. All right, you want to click Change Display Type because this can only go to 16 colors or monochrome and can't adjust desktop area. Highly frustrating if you want to be looking at things that are in full color. And so you want to go change right here. And uh, you want to click have disk. And uh, you want to click browse. Now you want to choose the C, the C drive, which is, for my in my case, it's MS-DOS 6. Now it should be right here in that. So I want to double click on there, double click on UNI, and it uh, should be right here, vbemp.inf, click OK, now click OK. Now you should have that, now click OK. That's going to copy the file, now click close. So now it's got 256 colors right there. You can choose true color which I like to choose because that's just my favorite, but you can also adjust the screen area, which I'm going to put mine there. Uh, I don't want to click... Uh, I'm going to click no. You have to restart your computer. And uh, it should work right after that. Um, of course, you want to remove the floppy disk, the virtual floppy disk out. Or else it'll say invalid system disk, as it said earlier. And uh, so I'll be right back when that comes up. Well, it's back. And uh, so I click OK. Notice the screen is much bigger. And the color blue is much more rich. And uh, there's that beautiful sound again. And uh, so here it is. And you can see everything's in color now. Everything that's, you know, good. 
And uh, so, yeah, so that's Windows 95. I'll be right back with Windows ME. Alrighty, so I got uh, ME fired up. And uh, so that's going to load real quick. Another one I love the startup sound of. Mostly nostalgia, but I just like the sound of it. It just sounds fresh. <laughs> anyway, so here we go with the boring gray desktop. Everything's in, you know, boring color. So you want to do the same as I did in 95 and uh, go to your floppy disk and uh, insert it. And uh, I apologize, my computer's running a bit slow. Um, so you want to go to my computer, like in the last one. Nope, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Guess I'll teach you to be impatient. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to close out of one of those. Um, so it's going to load this. Notice how it's just the straight blue, because the colors, and there was no gradient with that. Um, so it's going to load up here. So go into your floppy disk, and uh, just kind of do the exact same thing with copying it over. Um, so I go copy, and then you go to your desktop, which I'm going to do. You can go to my documents or something. Um, but I just like to do the desktop because it's right there. So I'm going to right click and click paste. The menu ever comes up. <laughs> just going to paste that real quick. I click properties. <laughs> anyway, so you click paste, not properties. And uh, just going to copy that real quick. And I'm going to drag that over here. So then you go to properties. And uh, you want to go to settings. Oh, be quiet, AVG. Go away. <laughs> anyway, and uh, so you want to go to settings here. As you can see, this one's in 256 colors also. You want to click advanced. And you want to go to Adapter and click Change. Um, and then you want to go to Specify the location of the driver. Click Next. And uh, so you want to go Specify a location. Browse. You want to go to Desktop, where it's here. And you want to click the plus on that and go to UNI and click OK. Now you can click Next. It's going to search through there just real quick and uh, it's going to come up with the updated driver here. Click Next. Click Next. It's going to load it. Now click Finish. Now it's going to ask to restart the computer so you want to click Yes and we'll do that real quick. And uh, it's just going to quickly load this invalid system disk. Yeah, you want to remove that. <laughs> I keep forgetting that, so I'm going to pause the video and be right back. Alrighty, so we're back, and as you notice, there's actually color this time. And, uh, see? Everything's in color here. So it's just kind of automatically done that for us. Nope. No, I don't want to format that. No, thank you. <laughs> and then you click Properties, and you can go back to settings and as you can see it's in 16-bit color you can put it in true color 32-bit that's what I like and uh, you adjust the screen area size by a little bit um, apply the new settings without restarting click OK now I click yes to keep the setting and there you go now I'm not going to show Windows 98 because it's the exact same thing as what I just showed you here in Windows ME um, if you have any questions or comments be sure to uh, Put them in the comments, comments section down below. As for me, I am going to wrap this video up. Um, once again, I read every single comment that is sent to me, 
and uh, I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you. Love that loading.